Hey, man, I need to talk to someone about something that's been bothering me. Can we chat? Of course, dude. What's on your mind? It's about my girlfriend. I accidentally saw some messages on her phone, and she's been texting with someone else. Oh, wow. That's heavy. What did you see? I didn't mean to invade her privacy, but her phone was right there, and a message popped up. I couldn't help but glance. She's been texting some guy I don't know, and it seems like they're really close. That's tough, man. How did you feel when you saw those messages? Honestly, I felt betrayed and hurt. I mean, we've been together for a while now, and I thought everything was going well. Seeing her text someone else like that, it just caught me off guard. Have you talked to her about it? Not yet. I'm not sure how to bring it up without sounding like I invaded her privacy. But at the same time, I can't just ignore it. Communication is key, my friend. You have to talk to her about what you saw and how it made you feel. Maybe there's an explanation or a misunderstanding. I know, but I'm scared of what I might hear. What if she's really into this guy? What if she's thinking of leaving me? You won't know until you talk to her. It's better to address it now than let it fester and potentially ruin your relationship. Trust is crucial and openness can help rebuild it. You're right. I'll talk to her tonight. I just hope we can work through this and come out stronger on the other side. Hey, man. So how did the conversation with your girlfriend go last night? It was intense. I brought up what I saw on her phone, and she was initially defensive. But as we talked, she admitted she had been feeling a bit distant and confused lately. That's a tough situation. Did she explain why she was texting that guy? Yeah, it turns out it was an old friend from college, and they recently reconnected. She said there was nothing romantic going on, but they were catching up on personal stuff. She apologized for not communicating about it sooner. That's a relief, isn't it? Misunderstandings can happen, especially when it comes to texts. It is, but it also made me realize we need to work on our communication. We've both been neglecting it, and it led to this mess. We're going to make an effort to be more open with each other moving forward. It's important to address the underlying issues and find solutions together. Are you feeling better about things now? Yeah, I am. It was a wake-up call for both of us. We're committed to making our relationship stronger and more resilient. By the way, how are things between you two now? Well, we talked about it. And we're making an effort, but it feels like things are still a bit strained. It's like there's this lingering awkwardness, and I can sense some distance between us. It's understandable that it might take some time to get back to normal after such a conversation. What are you doing to address the distance? We decided to spend more quality time together trying to reconnect. We planned a weekend getaway and are attempting to rediscover the things that brought us closer in the first place. But it's tough. There's still this uneasiness in the air. It's good that you're actively working on it. 
Sometimes, it just takes a bit of time for things to settle. Have you both considered seeking professional help, like couples counseling? We haven't talked about counseling yet. I guess we're hoping we can handle it ourselves. But if things don't improve, it might be worth considering. It's a sensible option. Professionals can provide guidance and tools to navigate through difficult times. Don't hesitate to explore that if needed. And keep in mind, it's okay to ask for help. Yeah, you're right. I'll see how things go after this weekend. Hopefully, it'll bring us closer again. How's everything going after the weekend getaway? Did it help you and your girlfriend reconnect? Honestly, it didn't go as planned. During the weekend, I found out that my girlfriend had met up with that college friend, the one she was texting. They went on a date, and she didn't mention it to me. Oh my god. How did you find out about the date? I overheard her talking on the phone with her friend, and she casually mentioned the date. I confronted her about it, and she admitted that she thought it was harmless and didn't want to upset me. That's a big breach of trust. How are you handling it? I'm devastated, to be honest. It feels like the trust we were trying to rebuild just shattered again. We're having another serious conversation tonight about boundaries and honesty. It's crucial to address this problem. Trust is fragile, and rebuilding it takes time and consistent effort. Are you considering couples counseling now? Yeah, we talked about it. And this time, we're seriously considering professional help. I just want to understand why she felt the need to go on a date without telling me, especially after the previous incident. It can help both of you navigate these complex emotions and situations because I experienced it once before. I hope it leads to some clarity and resolution. I have a bad new, my friend. The situation escalated, and we ended up having a heated argument. The trust issues just seemed insurmountable, and we decided it's best to go our separate ways. What? You two broke up? I think they are having affairs since the beginning. She just does not admit it. Breakups are never easy especially when trust is at the core of the issue. How are you holding up? It's tough, you know? I haven't thought she could step my back and betray me. It feels like a part of me is missing. But at the same time, I think it was the right decision. We both need some time to heal and figure things out individually. Give yourself the time and space you need to process everything. Breakups are like a storm. It's chaotic at first, but eventually the skies will clear. Thanks, man. I appreciate your support. It's just hard to believe it has come to this. Breakups are always challenging but they can also be opportunities for personal growth. Take this time to focus on yourself, your goals, and your well-being. Yeah, you're right. I need to shift my focus and take care of myself. It's just going to be a difficult journey. Absolutely. Surround yourself with friends and family who care about you. And if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Thanks. I appreciate that. It's going to be a tough road ahead, but I know I'll come out of it stronger.
you will, for sure. Just take one day at a time. If you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out.